What's going on, guys? It's your brother, brother OTG. The OTG's for overtime grind. Hardly seen, but I'm always around. And today, we're in Reason 12, Reason Plus. And I already have a, a sound loaded, a loop loaded. It's nothing amazing. It's meant just for tutorial purposes. Has a lot of different drum parts. Um... And it's meant to show you when you have an idea and you feel like you're about to hit the roadblock because you need to understand, you, you need to hear it with an intro, a chorus, or, or variations, whatever you call it in your genre of music. It's very important that at this step, this is where you get an understanding of blocks. And maybe you just use reason by itself. Or if you ever go to another DAW, you can have the understanding. It's pretty much the same. This 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 concept that I'm about to show you is pretty much um, a technique that you can apply across all genres and a way to take an idea to a full song. So that's what Blocks is. Um, it's very good for you to know. So it's not something that you should say, oh, I don't need to know that. You do. I mean, you could lie to yourself if you, and say you don't, but I'll still be your friend. But I, 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 I'll know how to use it, and other people will, and you just won't. And, you know, it'll be a little bit weird because you should. You should know things that help you sequence your song better, you know. Always get better. So with that, make sure you like, subscribe share comment all of that cool stuff hit the notification bell and let's learn how to how to create these songs okay so right now make sure i'll go up here and turn my blocks off so we can walk through it step by step so right now make sure you hit stop twice you have your song already loaded right you press play we're going to hear a full loop Just a simple four bar loop. Simple four bar loop, a uh, couple different parts. We have a different part. We can uh, uh, mute the main and come with this one. All right, so we have that. Part two, here are our sounds. We have an 808, we'll start with that. We have a sitar. I have a piano. I have the sample, main sample. guitar I have a piano I have a cello so that's all of those sounds will start it so if I start over So let's say I wanted to take that, okay? We copy it. We go up to the top. We enable our blocks. We click block. Hit stop twice. Paste it. And everything we have muted, we could delete it. Everything muted, delete it. All right, turn our solo off, press stop. Now we have that. 
so we named this intro. Let's name it intro. Uh, pitched. Okay. So now we could go, we could copy this. Go to block two. Paste. Move these notes down. Call it intro regular. All right. Now, if we go back to our song mode, we copy that all over again. We go back to our block. We go to block three. It stopped twice, paste, just name that full beat. And we're going to do the pitched version. There we have it. So we have this. So now we're going to go block four. We're going to switch it. So now. Name this full, not pitch. Now we go to block five. Copy and paste the same idea over and over again. Now we could change the drums so we could play it. Oh, wait, we got to fix our sample. Let's start this one first. Let's start with this. Okay, now let's mute some drums. Mute the, cut those. Let's cut our 808. Yep. And then let's know 808 pitched. Let's cut out this other drum. Now we have that. Now. It stopped twice. Paste. Let's take, uh, let's take the stylish drums out. Let's get rid of that, uh, cello.
call it verse pitched. As a tip, you can mute what you just erased for the next window. You probably like what do I mean? Well now we go over here. Block seven. You look at this, you know you're erasing this. And you're erasing this. Turn your mutes off. Now. That's why it has stopped twice. Let's take the 8 away to off in the sitar. Alright, we have that. Now, so if we were playing this, I'll show you how this starts to work. We have that. Here you go here. All right, so Matter of fact, let's just go to song mode now. And make it happen with what we got. Alright. So, get your pencil. We start with the intro. We hit stop twice and listen. If you want, I'll show you another productivity tip. Zoom out. Get your arrow. Command C. It says it's about 2 minutes and 53 seconds. So let's go there. Get our M marker, bring it way back. All right. Now you could go and click your whole song in. So I could do this. Then I could go. Like that, and now we could do this. We could just write out all of our parts, and it's going to play it because that's what we drew in the blocks. So it's going to follow the sequences or the patterns that we put in an order. Let's see. All right. We'll just go through and keep clicking it on there. We'll go from the full beat this time to the verse to no 808. All the way up to the full beat again. And then now if I press play, we have a whole sequence of beat. And any 
changes that I make at any one of the blocks will change across wherever it's in the sequence window. You can also then press record and record over all of this and take your production to another level. So utilizing blocks is extremely important. And it's an easy way to uh, uh, practice different structures. Perfect way of beats to have a lot of different sounds and different textures to show how they work together and have some pre-planning. Remember, you can record all of your automation over it. You could do all of that. You can record from start to finish, just like you could record audio in now. So you can record audio and place it inside of the blocks. So think of all these different options, but hopefully this helps you to get some understanding of what blocks are, what they do, how they operate, and how to take a simple four bar loop and take all of this. Don't let it overwhelm you and turn it into this. It's really simple. Once again, it's your brother, Brother OTG. The OTG's for overtime grind. Hardly seen, but I'm always around. Make sure you check out my website, brotherotg.com. We have coaching available for different programs. And um, follow me on all my social media. That's it.